What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is the most amazingly beautiful places in America. Um, Mom's back. Hi everyone. Uh, you guys are really enjoying these. We're enjoying them as well, aren't we? We are really enjoying it. And we, we've got a few different kind of videos in the pipeline lined up as well, so yes, we won't spoil we have. it. No. But uh, that's a quite an exciting series, which we hopefully will be doing on the channel soon. So look <laughs> out for that. Uh, but we're back to reactions today. And today we're checking out the most amazingly beautiful places in America. I know, can't wait. We've seen so, a few, um, but obviously hardly any compared with how many there will be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we went to see a lot of touristy spots and stuff mm, like that, didn't we? we did. um, very nice spots, but... This kind of goes into a bit more of... Have you ever been to a national park? Because you've been. been to America before, haven't you? I have. I've been to Pigeon Forge um, in Tennessee. Okay. Did Chicago. You... Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, did, did you yeah. go to a... No. No? So a national park. Do you know what a national park is? Not really. Uh, basically, it's a, basically like a nature kind of... It's protected. Like a nature reserve. Uh, have you heard of Yosemite and stuff like that? No. Nope. Okay, yeah, well, Yellowstone. There you, go. Yellow, you know Yellowstone. Yellowstone, don't you? yes. That yes. is a national park. Yeah. Um, right. Massive. So there's some beautiful, beautiful places out there. Uh, there's so many national parks. We're actually, we are going to do a video, which is the top 25 national parks. Mm. It's so something you, I'd like to do when we go back then. Definitely. I love nature it's as just a nightmare with Archie when he was younger. With I know, plan, it didn't but, work. Um, but, but When he can walk, it'll be a lot easier. Yeah, and I, I think understand. he'll get something out of it and enjoy it as well if he's a bit older. Well, yeah, he can run about and stuff like that as well. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so this is some beautiful places. I'm sure some national parks will be on here and just some stunning places in America. Yeah. Smash that button if you enjoy, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go. What we got? From sand dunes resting near Colorado's mountains to a rainbow-colored body of water, here are the most amazingly beautiful places in America. It's mind-boggling, isn't it, Yellowstone? <laughs> Number 10, Angel's Landing. This awe-inspiring rock formation is located in Zion National Park in Utah. It is also known as the Temple of Aeolus and is 1,488 would feet. Would you walk up there with the railing? I don't know, yeah. <laughs> it's, quite it's a big step. One, but but I was just thinking what a beautiful name to call it as well. It's yeah. a stunning name, Angel's Landing. But it's a stunning view if you get up there. But that is, yeah, it's a big step. Yeah, just <laughs> it's off a the thing. side of a cliff. <laughs> yeah. I'd do it though. Hikers must take a 2.4 mile long path to reach its peak, which mm. contains several sharp switchbacks some of which are called yeah. oh, Walter's oh, Wiggles. Yeah, because These of the rate. turns. Yeah, because of the gradient, they have to do it in stages like that, right? You can't just go straight up. Go straight up. up. Yeah. yeah. Named after Walter Roosh. He was Zion's initial superintendent and created the switchbacks in the mid-1920s. There is a point called Scout Lookout, which many hikers stop at if they are worried about the remainder of the climb. However, if visitors are able to continue, they That's will reach stunning. the top where the most astonishing views are available. <laughs> wow. view, Angel's Landing wow. is highly renowned due to its semi-short trail and the payoff once you finish the climb. I do the climb. The scenery to see of that. Zion Worth Canyon mm. is striking from the summit. The layers yeah. of rocks are aged 270 million years, dating back to pre-Triassic times. The green vegetation of the canyon's floor dramatically contrasts the red, multi-hued walls of the jagged stone. The stunning perspective oh, wow. one gains from Angel's Landing makes it's it like one of the rainbow. most beautiful yeah. places in America. Number 9. Nepali Coast This shoreline is located on the northern side of the island of Kauai in I Hawaii. I want to go to Hawaii one day. I'd it stretches like for 17 miles. Mm. However, a large part of this coastline is inaccessible due to its jagged rock formations that jut vertically out of the water. The green. These cliffs reach far above the Pacific Ocean, protruding up to 4,000 feet. There is a trail leading to this area on land, but it is difficult to traverse and spans 11 miles. Worth so, it, the best oh, ways to take in the scene. views of Nepali just, coast are by boat. It feels fake, doesn't it? <laughs> miles. From the photos, so, it's just so so surreal, isn't yeah. it? So beautiful, it looks surreal. It I mean, does. when you're there, it must be so breathtaking, it's hard to take in. Definitely. Take it all in, because it's just one of those moments you just need to just sit and take, be quiet and take it and all just in. enjoy it. Mm. So, the best ways to take in the views of Nepali coast are by boat or plane. Although people don't inhabit this area today, there are records of settlers and natives Stunning. living here from 1200 AD to sometime in the 20th century. The dramatic cliffs and bright green colors of Nepali coast, in contrast with the blue ocean waves and clear skies, make it one of America's most astonishing places. It is. Number eight, Great Sand Dunes National Park. Most people imagine these smooth, breathtaking formations existing only wow. in Middle Eastern deserts. I, you know something, I don't know about you, but like, you forget, I mean, I forget that 
There's just that in the US. I know, but I oh, just must be breathtaking to walk in those dunes oh, like that. Oh, definitely. But it just, it's mind-boggling to me when you go, you think, oh, Africa, there's deserts and stuff like that. I know. You think US, ah, oh, it's not a desert in the US. I suppose you won't be able to, but be, I know that sounds a silly thing to say, I want to say, but it'd be nice to, like, roll down them. You might be able to. <laughs> you, you, know, down the, you might be able be to. unbelievable. Oh, definitely. I don't mean just rolling down. Yeah, just rolling down like a tangent. Yeah, oh. it's pretty cool. It doesn't yeah. look like many people have, but you can see like the footpath there, can't you? Everyone walking along there. But, um, oh, it's beautiful. Definitely we've got to do breathtaking that. breathtaking formations existing only in Middle Eastern deserts. However, the Great Sand Dunes National Park is located in Colorado. The dunes are overwhelming as they reach up to 750 oh, feet stunning. high and are the tallest in America. They also take up about 30 square miles of land. The That's park itself spans over 107,342 acres. The sand was left behind by massive lakes that once existed in the area. Due to volcanic oh. activity, increasing sediment deposits, and climate change, the lakes dried up and left behind a sand sheet. Once wow. winds began blowing, the dunes were created. For a desert area, the temperatures in the park are much lower than what you'd expect. The average highs only get to be around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the lows reach far below freezing. So nature's created the sand dunes, yeah, going from lakes to to the dunes. It's not all these things we're looking at are just natural. It's not like man-made. No, it's all just natural. But it's such a contrast from what we've just seen in the other national park with the green and now to the sand dunes. Yeah. It's such different contracts to different national it. parks. It's like it's two different sides of the world, mm. but it's. Like in the UK, Same our country. parks are our parks, they're just green parks. It's yeah, just yeah. a different park with different things, but these are just completely different contrasts. Definitely. So visiting the sand dunes during winter months might not be the best idea. Nevertheless, the smooth waves of sand next to the rugged mountains create a beautiful and unique distinction. Definitely. Like Number so seven, Carlsbad Cavern. Mm -hmm. This amazing cave is located in New Mexico in Carlsbad Caverns National Park. One of the cavern's most renowned areas is its giant limestone chamber, also called the Big Room. It is about 4,000 feet long, 625 feet wide, and 255 feet tall. It is North America's fifth and the world's 28th largest chamber. One of the cavern's oh, most really renowned well. details oh, no. are the alien-like speleothems, or cave formations, that hang from its ceiling and ceaselessly grow due to water drizzling through the limestone. Some of them also rise from the floor, <laughs> meaning the entire cave is decorated with strange organic structures. Adding to the natural allure of this place are the lights that people have installed for effortless viewing of Carlsbad That's Caverns so mini rooms and formations. The lamps glow in various colors, giving the cave an even more surreal appearance. While enjoying a guided tour of the cavern, visitors can experience a light show at the end that truly illuminates all of the beauty this wonder has to offer. It looks really magical six, to me. It looks so magical. That. Enchanted. Kind it of does. Like. It looks enchanted. Really magical. Because again, again, it's like, how was that created? How was that naturally created? And also, who found? How was it found? Who discovered that yeah, was there? I guess we just walked one day. It was an entrance. So I guess it's like, oh, and they go through it. And I know. Have a path and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's mad, isn't it? Yeah, it's very magical. Right? That's the type of cave I'd go into. Have you ever seen the caves where it's like feels they go a bit really spiritual? Tight? Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able do to do ones. that. <laughs> no, because I am quite claustrophobic. Yeah, I, I could have do been that cave, child. with the path and everything. Yeah, I think I could. Oh, well, I'm, I'd give everything a go. So <laughs> just to see the beauty of it. Talk about spiritual. This looks a bit enchanted, doesn't it? Does it does look very it? enchanting. Watkins Glen. This state park is located in the Finger Lakes area of New York. Perhaps the most eye-catching detail of Watkins Glen is a gorge that is about 400 feet deep. It was formed by Glen Creek when glaciers from the Ice Age sank further into the valley, causing the stream to become steeper. This created more rapid wow. waters and cascades. Wow, that is unbelievable. There are unbelievable. numerous waterfalls within this area of the park, including the Central Cascade, Cavern Cascade, and Rainbow Falls, That's which wow. is considered one oh, of the we most need to captivating. See that. It descends beneath the rainbow bridge over varying steps of jagged oh, rock. That is something I really would love to below. do. Do you know, go away, I mean, you probably can't here, but just somewhere where there's waterfalls like that, where you can like swim where the waterfalls yeah. are. I know you're sure you won't be able to do this because it's a national park, but that's just I think breathtaking. You can in, in a lot of them, I imagine. It, um, that is breathtaking. It really is. Something is about really water and waterfalls that really is. It really draws just me. Just like a little cabin in the woods. And yeah. Stay away oh. from the bears, though. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot about the bears. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've changed my mind now. <laughs> this entire area of Watkins Glen State Park is beautiful. Green vegetation grows within the crevices of stone, and running water adds to its dreamlike ambiance. Dream there is a trail that allows people to walk through the gorge with ease and enjoy the scenery throughout this remarkable place. Number five, Multnomah Falls. Wow. These stunning cascades are located in Oregon. Wow. A Norwegian businessman named Simon Benson bought the land and added a bridge, trail, and lodge to the area surrounding the falls in the early 1900s. He then transferred his ownership to the city of Portland so it could be used as a public park. Yeah, Multnomah Falls that's is about it. 620 feet high and is the real. tallest within Oregon. It flows throughout the year and is fed by the Lark stunning. Mountain Underground Springs. Just stunning. The cascade formed approximately 15,000 years ago as a result of the Missoula floods. During autumn, the leaves in the area change from green to bright orange and red, creating an astonishing so distinction between the water's blue-white hue and the surrounding forest. During the winter, snow falls and blankets the vegetation, giving Multnomah Falls the appearance of a winter wonderland cast yeah. in an icy monochromatic scheme. I love the However, bridge. this place yeah, is enchanting bridge, during autumn. I think the bridge makes it, doesn't it? Imagine being stood on there. Walk Maybe there's something you. like from Harry Potter, the bridge. Yeah. It just does a whole thing just of this, this right. national park. Mine's a bit of Harry Enchanting. I know the others were as well, but yeah. this is like very happy, Harry Definitely. Potter style. Definitely. Like the waterfall is beautiful, but the bridge, I think the bridge makes it, doesn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. It'd be nice All to stay at the seasons, lodge. <laughs> making it one of the most amazing places in America. Mm. Number four, Grand Prismatic Spring. <laughs> We've got to go there one This otherworldly wow. hot spring is part of Yellowstone National Park and is yeah, located in Wyoming. Them. It is the most significant That's in the United States in size mental. and is the world's third biggest. It measures 370 feet across and is about hmm. 160 feet deep. So it also beautiful. puts out about 560 gallons of water every minute. It was noted by scientists participating in the Hayden Geological Survey of 1871. The spring was named after its striking neon colors that contrast significantly from the land surrounding it. The bright hues of Grand Prismatic Spring are due to microbial mats that circle the mineral-rich water. The mats create numerous different colors, giving it a rainbow-like so appearance. Is it hot as well, They're did it say? Are they yeah, warm? Yeah, like, that will burn you if you go anywhere near it. Like, why, no, why is it hot? It's, like, like, it's a volcano. Because it is a volcano. Right. Um, okay. So, we've done a video on it a while ago. Yellowstone pretty much is like a supernova, I think, volcano. So if that went off, the ash, like the US would, the whole US would pretty much be covered in ash exactly. cloud. We would have effects from that as well because it's yeah. like, I think, but I think it goes off like once every like five hundred thousand years or something like That's that. That's good. But um, well, I think it's coming up to that. Is it? <laughs> but it, there's no signs of it, it, it erupting or something right, like that. I'm sure they monitor it very it carefully. <laughs> I think it's like one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. Correct. Um, and that's why there is these hot springs. But I think it's like. It's over boiling the heat of it, so if you go into it, you're dead pretty much, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Okay, we'll leave that then. They're definitely <laughs> brighter in the summer, whereas they become it's dark stunning. green during the winter. The spring's brilliant that. blue center and color changing exterior course, make so it one vivid. of the most beautiful places in America. Number three, Dry Tortugas National Park. This unusual park is located 68 miles to the west of Key West, Florida, and is only oh, accessible like by West. plane or boat. Mm. Dry Tortugas National Park is recognized for its barely disturbed coral reefs, tropical birds, and yeah. tales about shipwrecks and treasures. The main focal point of the park is Fort Jefferson. It is an immense, incomplete fortress and is the most massive brick masonry within the Western Hemisphere. Oh, wow. It is made up of over 16 million bricks. It is known for its mix of historical <laughs> artifacts of and natural wonders. From colonial years up to the beginning of the 20th century, water. the Dry Tortugas served as an American naval base and provided shelter and a fueling station. It right. was later used as a prison and is where four people were held for conspiracy concerning President Lincoln's demise. I'd like However, to nowadays that. the yeah. Dry Tortugas history, is a remarkable yeah, place like where visitors can enjoy the vast wildlife while they dive into history. Oh, there are that. nearly 300 species of birds within the park, as well as various stunning fish. Number two, Glacier National Park. This remarkable park is located in northern Montana and takes up over 1 million acres of land. Cracky. It has more than 130 lakes, hundreds wow, of animal like species. Alps. It literally is, it looks it? like the Alps. Um, I said, I've never been to the Alps or seen the Alps. But... No, I haven't, but from just from photos, yeah, it just reminds yeah, you of the Alps. And I like say it's just in the US as well. It's just America's so big, there's all these different 
I don't know, just completely different national parks. It's just yeah, unbelievable. It's amazing. Glaciers to desert yeah. to Rocky Mountains to like those. We haven't had the Grand Canyon, but the Grand Canyon's on there. Yeah, it's Memphis unbelievable. Volcano. I know. <laughs> it is mad, isn't it? It is just so big. So, like yeah, so different, but... different ranges of different yeah. things. In the UK, you've just got green forest. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> sitting trees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And over 1,000 types of plants. Oh, it is part of a larger area that is sometimes called the crown of the continent ecosystem. Glaciers originally formed oh, the, the vast goats. mountains <laughs> found within the park during the world's most recent ice age. However, most of them have so disappeared beautiful. since then, and the National Park Service says that the remaining glaciers will most likely be gone in about 12 years oh. due to the warming environment. Climate Nevertheless, change. this park is still breathtaking. Yeah. Yeah, there are numerous hiking trails for visitors to explore I the wild. I don't know how long they stay on for, but it's not the end of the video yet, so hopefully mm -hmm. they go soon. <laughs> wildlife on foot and ice blue lakes for people to take in the scenery by boat or kayak. The crystal waters of Glacier National Park reflect its majestic snow-capped mountains and evergreen trees, oh, enhancing its Stunning. natural beauty. There is even a highway called the Going to the Sun Road, oh, wow. so travelers can enjoy the views inside their vehicles. This park's diverse landscape ranges from forests and mountains to valleys and tundras, making it one of the most magnificent places Hi. in America. It's absolutely Number one, stunning. Horseshoe Bend. Oh, this oh. section of yeah, the Colorado. That looks incredible, doesn't it? Well, it just doesn't seem real. It just paddleboarding around. There. You just want to. I know, but you just want to go there just to just to breathe it all in because it's just so breathtaking. It doesn't feel real just watching it. It's yeah. so stunning. It just feels like a a picture. Peaceful as well. It looks. Oh, yeah. Colorado River is yeah, located is near Page, Arizona. The rapid current cut this peculiar shape into the red rock of the desert landscape. The trail to get to this natural wonder is less than a mile long, but poses some obstacles along the way. Around 200 million years ago, sand dunes blanketed this vast open area. When minerals and water began flowing in, the dunes eventually turned to stone. <laughs> Over the centuries, various other sedimentary rocks layered on top of the sandstone. The elements then wore oh away at the goodness. formations, revealing wow. lower areas of sand and tall cliffs with calcite and limestone. Look at that. So today, there are some areas of deep sediment along the trail to view Horseshoe Bend. But further up the trail, you can see the jagged rocks. If you pay close attention while you're hiking, a small dinosaur footprint can be spotted about <laughs> 150 feet from the trail's end, yeah, that's quite giving mad. proof <laughs> yeah, of the area's <laughs> ancient history. After climbing to the top, the view of Horseshoe Bend is stunning. The deep blue water of the Colorado nice. River outlines the bright red rock formation that appears to jut out of the center of a giant bowl. The 1,000 foot sheer drop to its so base and nice. layers of the surrounding yeah. cliffs add to the overall beauty this place exhibits. I think if you, were, you climbed places... to the top of there, you'd feel like you were in the clouds. Yeah, definitely. You'd feel like it, that's how it looks. It feels like you'd be stood in the clouds. Like it's so the high, so yeah, down, magical. Yeah. But I wonder if it's so high or if that's so low. Well, maybe I don't yes. know. I, I, I yeah, don't know, yeah. but um, yeah, I don't know which way it actually is. Are you climbing up to get down, or are you just walking at a constant yeah. level when it's a drop? Let us know in the comments because obviously it's eroded, but I don't know. Um, yeah, some beautiful places. Absolutely stunning. This is Absolutely why we kept stunning. banging on about going to a national park. When I we think that to we go, need to try go. when we because hopefully we'll be going back hopefully regularly because I, I yeah, do yeah. I love America. I really do, and as long as you'll let me come tag along, oh, definitely. it'd be amazing. It'd be nice yeah, to try and do one or two if we can. Because it'd be nice just to make sure we visit each national park at some stage. I'd love to do that. Definitely. They're just 2026, so, they're so we'll amazing their own each each of their own individual ways. Definitely. Yeah, we'll hopefully we'll be able to afford it in 2026. Or yep. you'll be a little bit older as well. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. I'd love that. So enjoy mm -hmm. that. I did enjoy Smash that. Smash that yeah. button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Let us know your favourite places for maybe us to visit in the comments below or for my mum to have a look at and us to have a look at as well. And uh, yeah, let us know that in the comments below and what should we do? Have a great day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.